dog. What? You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Shit. What the hell did you do that for? Alright guys, let's get it. Episode 2, Starve for Help. Episode 2, let's get it. This is about to be lit. Lit, lit, lit. So excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Previously on The Walking Dead. Previously. Love it. I know who you are. Love it. I got another good one for you. <laughs> Tragic. Tragic. You've been all by yourself through this? Yep. Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front My door. little Clementine. It's Doug. R.I.P. bro in the chat. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. Yeah. R.I.P. bro in the Doug. comments. Got it, boss. R.I.P. Doug. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He didn't get bitten, bro. Facts. Bing, bing. R.I.P. Bro, R.I.P. Doug. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. What are you gonna do, bro? You have to live off some pills. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> would you? Would you? Would you? For real. What you gonna do? Alright. You just gonna crawl up next time? Three months later, okay. I'm happy uh, they do that. Right. Um, it's yummy. Yummy. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, we got new Damn. friends. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Wow, they're eating <sighs> well, actual animals too. Lost. Right. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Right. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Uh, facts. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Everybody's starving? Dang. Three months? When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, everybody's starving. Yeah. Better yeah. start eating some wood. I knew for <laughs> sure how much food we have left. Uh, you'll have to ask Lily. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. Ooh. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Facts. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. Let's hope not. He's got a family to look out for. He's better off without us. He's got a wife and son to look out for. Facts. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't That's blame true. him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. <sighs> yeah, I hate Larry, bro. He thinks I'm dangerous. He's a... <laughs> he's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Our problems are not. We should all be Big happy facts. trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And I know I would. Face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Sucker punch. Bro, let me get in a room with him. I'll knock him out. Stop it. Don't ever underestimate us. Punch him in his heart. 
Don't risk the noise. Can you make the shot? It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Ah! Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Ah, uh, shoot. What's going on? Oh, he, he's he got beaten. Oh, he stepped in a trap. Jesus Christ. Oh shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis. How did you not see help. that? These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? We're not gonna okay. hurt you. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Hey, this is fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he? We'll try. Gotta get him out of there. Oh God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. All right, cool. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh shoot, zombies. Lee, this trap been altered. There's no release latch. Oh wow. Do we gotta cut his leg off? Oh no. Zombies are coming, bro. Shit. He's making too much noise. Now never leave. Please, get me out of this. Mark, right. get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Damn it, this is bad. Really bad. Oh, God, he Just can't get die. me out, please. All that blood please, screaming. Up. We're gonna be surrounded any minute. Please. Is he get me is he out of me? this? Come on, bro. Please, Kenny. No. There's gotta be something we can do. Do you think you can get it open? Nope. All right. We use chain like that at the airport. Come on, so much blood. To try. We're, We're gonna have to cut his leg off. We're gonna have to cut his leg off. Let's go. Let's All right, go. bro. Oh, God, oh, God. All right, bro. Oh, God. Have to it has to be now. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Oh, God. Ah. Damn, he just cut off his fucking leg. You don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go. Now. Ah. One more shot. I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. Okay. Oh, so many. Ah. Ah. Oh God. Shit. Is he? He passed out. Oh my God. Oh. He's alive. Grab him and let's go. Oh my gosh. Look at Lee. Behind you. Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move. Why are you gonna stand there and stare at them? Oh my gosh. Let him get got. That's how we're starting? That's how we're starting? Golly, bro. What? That's crazy. That was fire. That was not fire, bro. Bro lost his whole leg. Starred for help. Episode 2. Dang, man. That boy needs to get knocked out. Look at my Clementine. Oh. Clementine. Mm. Is she the... Is she the ruler around these parts? She's bored, bro. I'm feeling so bad. Wish I could go play with her. Don't be sick, bro. Don't be sick. 
she's bored playing soccer by herself. I've been there before. I'm an only child, so I know. Oh, she's making too much noise. She's about to get pissed. Too much noise. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, Who's that? What's going on? Have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. Oh my god. The only gosh, reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Oh my um, lord. No? Fine. You guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Yeah. Come over here and see what I drew. Oh. No, I, Look, she's making a friend. On, okay? you, know, you like to think you're she's the so cute. Of this group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Thanks, bro. Oh come on, you're being dramatic. She's trying to be a ruler yeah, over everybody. turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. You Everyone aren't. Was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, it doesn't out, matter suddenly, who's in I'm charge. A goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. No person you know, should be in charge pe you, at sit all. On the fence. But sooner or later, you're going to have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you I'm on anybody's side but my own. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Uh Old. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. The kids first, of course. Give my Clementine some food. We only have four food items for ten hungry people. <laughs> Give him Clementine food. <laughs> I don't like them old people. I already know who I'm giving food to. Four items. Clementine. Carly. The boy and his dad. She's doing work too, but you know. All right, I know who I'm feeding. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Um. Two. You know I'm a feed. You know I'm a feed her. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Give half an hour whole jerky crackers and cheese. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? I got you, Duck. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? 
<laughs> yeah. yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Want something to eat? Hmm, Jerry, apple. Have an apple, Carly. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds. I felt like she was going to like that. Then. But you know what? Yes. You already know. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yes, sir. Let's give it to our boy. I know you straight. Oh, you could do that. Cool. Want something to eat? Yeah. Give him some jerky. Let him okay. chill. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yes. Yeah, I gave him something. Sure. Then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. <laughs> oh, there's no I f fed Kenny. Not such an easy job, is it? The strength to do this every day. <laughs> I don't have a choice. Uh. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? Oh, I want to fight him so bad. Left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Facts. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. That piece of crap wall? Come on now. I don't see you outside of the wall looking for food. Alright, what are we going to do? Oh, no. No, don't feel like talking to any of y'all. What is the mission? Let's go try to find her hat. It's somewhere around here. Is he going to be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Got you. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. No, oh, well, thanks. Guess I ain't in that. Let's go find Clementine's hat. I'm not about to talk to these guys. I really don't like these guys. You know, could work Will on. you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Golly, bro. Uh, where is your hat, Clementine? Let's see. How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. I can't wait to leave this group. Um, what's up, Carly? Sleeping any better? What should we do about the kid? Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. What should we do about the kid? If it were up to me, I'd let him stay for a while, see if he proves to be an asset. But that's up to Lily, and with her in charge of the food, I don't want to get on her bad side. Back in a bit. How you doing, Doc? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's a goat, right? No. <laughs> Catch you later, Doc. Bye, Lee. They're having fun. Let's see how he's doing. Hey, is my friend going to make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. 
Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker. Related to Logan Paul? My school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when, when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of, I don't know, something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. I'm not about to tell him that. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Alright, um, let me go talk to... Wait, let me talk to her. You have no food left for you. Uh, we should think about leaving here. Let's talk about you and Kenny. No. Keep an eye out. Fine. Caught me. Yes. Words getting out that you want to leave the motor in. Yep. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. Mm -hmm. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. And Coast does it sound like a smart idea. Coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Alright. Um. Yeah, I heard about these new people. Uh, uh. Let's hope things turn for the better. Soon. Now there's a statement I can get behind. <laughs> All right, um, I guess I'll talk to her. Oh, I don't want to talk to her. Just look over the fence. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah. I just hope Capture can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. Mm. No way I'm going back there. <laughs> you saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Oh, now he wants to be nice. Not to Larry. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? You don't even Come like on. me, bro. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Facts. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Yeah. Is that what you told him? Yep. There, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care. I want to knock you out, bro. I've got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. This guy, man. This guy, man. This guy, man. This guy, man. This guy. This guy right here? That guy right here? Not ben, him. Lee, that guy? Come yeah, here, no. Please. He ain't it. He didn't make it, did he? Nope. He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Mm, I don't Let know. him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. Facts. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Lily wants him gone. <laughs> Oh, 
he turned into a zombie? Crazy. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. It's when you die. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Wow. That's interesting. God help us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Wow. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. We don't want any trouble. Are you armed? Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. The dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. That sounds like a good trade to me. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if Let's get it seems fishy. Yes, yeah, Skirt. That's so, my girl. Uh, what do y'all think? Okay, we'll go to the dairy. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your he dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators I for a while. I feel like I made the wrong decision. So, this dairy, you guys really have the food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Oh, nice. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. Facts. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Yes. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. No. Kenny keeps his motivated Lily smart me as a leader. You think they'd want me for a leader? Nah. Sure. They Everybody wouldn't. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not, not really. everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. X. Because of your past. Yeah. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. At all. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but. What exactly I love that did little girl. happen with the senator? It was an accident, now it's not the time. It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I love her. <laughs> yeah, I really appreciate that. Yeah, that's I mean, nice thank to God hear. Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, 
Who's running things over there? Lily. She runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy sound sketchy. for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. Really and you guys were keeping it all There's only two of them. Oh, no. There's yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Ooh. This game is that crazy? Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Dang, it be your own people's. He says, shoot first, ask questions last. Wow, that was dark. It be your own man's, bruh. Don't trust your friends. Oh, it's beautiful. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. That electricity fence keeps them out. <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. Uh. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Yeah. Uh, what? Ever have any accidents? Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You'd never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome Aww. to the St. Hi, John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Kenny's working on this, so focus on tomorrow. We work together. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, um, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Ooh, Amazing. that looks good. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary Is he getting jealous? Some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. No, oh, I don't want her to go out there by herself. Mark, Lee, uh, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is yep. there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. 
I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. <laughs> if we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Let's make sure this place is safe. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open and you find out what you can from Andy. Right. Ooh, don't touch that fence. keeping those fences repaired. If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. You guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. I feel you. The fence stops the walkers. Are we first guests? Yeah, let's. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. <laughs> I don't know why that popped up in my How's head. How's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? Mm, can. Kind of, sort of. It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. <laughs> why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just <laughs> it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. <laughs> Yeah. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> Relax. You're not making things any better, right? I want to fight him. Fight me, Larry. There's one. Box me, Larry. Big. Ugh. Big, big facts. Fight me, Larry. Lee, it's dead. <laughs> Come on, let's push it off. All right. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. <laughs> All right, here you go. Who do you think he was? Uh, maybe a farmhand. <laughs> uh, maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. All right, let's go. Looks like he's stuck. Alright, yeah, we gotta Maybe grab the that. the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, 
poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Disgusting. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. That's one of the teenagers, I think, that we're playing. Whoa. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Man, the fence burned oh right my gosh, come on, just cut his hand off. Fused together. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Mm, he just left the hands there? Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. <laughs> Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. We'll go ask for more after to eat after. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. Alright. I can suck it up. <laughs> pause. On. I pause, think I see where pause, they're getting in. Pause. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's okay. tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Little help here. Got you, bro. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! 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 What the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out! Now there you are, boy! the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit, that hurts. Dang! Right in the neck. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Hey. What the? Get to the gate! Get down! You Idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out. You didn't deliver the goods. Now we're gonna take what's ours. Did you really think you could fuck with us? Fuck 
Come on, we can reach the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! One of the dead we pushed down earlier. What Gonna have to move. I got Another one? How many of those things did we push down? A lot. Like Twenty One Savage said. Pulled his body. I don't know why he didn't throw him on the fence. Come on. The gate's right there. Give us the Let's get out of here. So they stay in the woods. Lee, what's wrong? The electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh, my lord. What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. But God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my God, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you going to be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh, no, honey. Come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. What? My boy is a... What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It isn't. As safe as we Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, let's go. Let's go. I'm ready now. Actually, let me go eat. Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. Thanks. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's yes, they are. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. Right. I'm going to head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. <laughs> I think he likes her. Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing? I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. He We're reminds me of Malcolm from Malcolm in the Middle. All right. Um, let's go find those bandits. Where did everybody go? Oh, they're up there. Fellas, 
How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You <laughs> saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hey, Hell I like yeah. that. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> I love but his some face. Of used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Let's go. Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Oh, why does she stop smiling? See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's got to be close. Found it. Ooh, do we get to shoot? No, we don't. About to go go street con. Nobody's in there. Sneak up to the camp. Wait a minute, wait a minute. See anybody? Stay on your guard. Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm going to check out the tent. Too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Empty. water it's just water it's just water all right what's over here gas can yep nothing but fumes shit can we not take it What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need empty Not cans. Unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. Ooh, what's that? Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. 
What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, right? He's looking he sketchy, she guys. For you. He's looking Sounds sketchy. Like picked a good leader. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. He's looking sketchy. Is that her hat? The hell? Don't fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Well, you tell me where. And I faked them every way I could think. They oh just my laughed. gosh. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your eyeball. goddamn brain. You're not men. She sounds You're nervous. Monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You uh, yep. stole her from me. You know what time it is, guys? What the hell are you talking Do about? Do you know what time it is, guys? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah. Right through. String him up on that tree. You know what time it is, guys? And shoot every goddamn person I see. You know what time it is, no. guys? Y'all wave them guns like you're looking to die. Don't need to go. Uh -oh. what? You know what time it is. <laughs> you know what time it is. Shit. What the hell did you do that for? We had a deal with them. She had justice, bro. Justice. They've killed too many people. Jeez, whatever, Tex. <laughs> ah. I mean, I know she was crazy, but damn. <laughs> she was going to shoot. I was done talking. I'm done talking. Shoot first, ask Clean questions last. Ball. Right through the forehead. Yes, sir. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. Nope. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Take her bow and arrow. Yep. Smart man. Come on. Wait a minute. He looked at that arrow kind of suspect. How did they get all their weapons? Hmm, let's think about it. They stole them from other people, obviously. This is crazy, bro. Wow. This story is crazy.
It's survival, man. Survival now. Survival mode. Alright. Looks like it's saved. We're gonna man, end this here. A hell of a ride, huh? What? You were a madman back there. Took that crazy bitch down. You're back. What happened? Lee took care of it. <laughs> What's Mama gotta say? This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Huh. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah, you could say that. Yeah, you could say that. We don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Thanks. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. Hopefully. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. <laughs> if don't only she worry. knew, right? I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. Yay. I'll thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. No, oh, I'm gonna go in the I'll go in there and give Clementine her hat before I end this episode. Uh, yep. Yeah. Hey, Clementine. Cutie pie, cutie pie. Yeah, go. Let's go give her a hat, bro. This is what we did it for. We capped that lady because we wanted to give Clementine her hat back. Who knows? We could have kept her alive. She was just talking crazy, but I didn't want to sacrifice it. Because bro probably would have ended up dead. You ain't gonna close the door behind you? Oh, look at the pretty cow. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay, go ahead. <laughs> She's so adorable. Love it. Whoa. <laughs> Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. Oh, wow. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. <laughs> she already Did licked it. Lick it? I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, give her a hat. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? Mm, I'd like to say someday. I don't think so. I haven't thought about it in a while. I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. She looks skinny. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. How's the cat? Uh, when do you think we might eat? Danny? Uh, let's not talk about that in uh, front of the kids. When do you think uh we might eat? Hungry, huh? Yeah. Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Hmm. No, we're not going to do Thanks. that. Yep. Uh, okay. Stall door, stall door. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. 
Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. <laughs> I got my whole family on this farm right now. Yeah. How about you? What about Clem? Yeah, I love Clem. I'll protect her no matter what. She's not. So, yeah. I'll protect her no matter what. Yes, sir. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're... You know... Urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> what? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and oh, that was funny. Again like nothing ever happened. All right, sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. <laughs> can I help you boys find something? <laughs> Uh, no. Kenny heard a noise. Just checking out the barn. Just ask him. What's behind this door, Andy? Just tools. We keep it locked so the people in the woods don't try and grab them. Uh, we'd be dead without them. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. All right, guys, we're going to end this here. <laughs> Good episode. Great episode. Part two. Part two. Let's go. Love y'all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love y'all. Peace, 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 peace. Shinobi Clan, we out.